Hey guys, so I hadn't made a video in a while because I've been out of town. Um, I went to Nashville for the CMA Festival, which was awesome. And then I went to um, cheer camp, and most recently I just was a, um, it's called a barnstormer, at this camp um, in Missouri called um, Camp Barnabas, and it's a camp for people with special needs. This week was um, kids, I think it was age 5 to 18, 6 to 18, something like that. Um, so it was kids this week, and it was kids with mental disabilities like autism or Down syndrome, um, stuff like that. There were, I think there were like some bipolar kids. There, were, there was some different stuff, but most people were autistic or had Down syndrome. Um, and so basically what I was doing, I just want to kind of tell you guys a little bit about what I did there and um, just about what Camp Barnabas is in case you guys would be interested in it because it's really, really awesome. Um, and I think more people should definitely go help out there um, if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, but basically, they have a few different locations. I went to the one in Missouri. Um, that's like the main one. That's where it started. Um, but what my job was, um, was to be a barnstormer. And basically, you can be a CIA, which means you're assigned to a camper. Um, and that's like your camper for the week. You're basically like their mom or dad for the week. Um... You can be a CIA once you're 16, but um, 14 and 15, you are a barnstormer, which means that um, you basically do all the background work stuff. Like, um, we would rotate through, um, depending on what day it was, we would either do dishes, um, which meant just when everyone was done eating, um, they would just clear the table and we would wash all the dishes and dry them and put them away and all that. And at a camp, that actually takes, like, seven hours a day so we either would do dishes or we would um serve which meant we would like bring all the food out to our table because each barnstormer is assigned like a specific cabin that they go to activities with and stuff we just don't have a camper but um we hang out with kind of like all the campers that are in our cabin that we barnstorm for so we'll go like put all the food on their table and if they need refills on anything or anything like that we'll go get that and then we clear off the table and bring all the stuff over to the people doing dishes and then we'll like set up for the next meal and sweep and mop and all that stuff. So that's what servers do. Um, and then the other thing was bathroom duty and so you would just go around camp and clean all the bathrooms and um, yeah, basically just make sure that that was all clean. So we kind of like rotated through, everyone did each um, job, I think twice. Um, and so we would basically do our jobs and it would take about like three hours at breakfast, three hours at lunch, three hours at dinner, and we would eat our meals before them for breakfast and then after them lunch and dinner. Um, and then we also would set up for like wrap up um, and stuff like that. And then when we weren't doing that, we had like a devotional time with the other barnstormers and then we would go to activities with our cabin of campers. So that's basically what I've been doing um, the past week. I was a barnstormer because I'm 15. Um, and that was like really, really cool for me. i thought that it was just going to be like super boring and not that much fun because you're basically just serving other people and like I knew that it would be like so worth it because I understood like how much it meant to the campers and I was there to serve them not to be like selfish for a week I needed to actually like serve other people um so going into it I was like yeah I'm gonna this is gonna be good I'm gonna be serving other people and all that but I wasn't like you know this is gonna be so fun but I actually, um, I just think that God taught me how to be so joyful in situations where I'm serving other people and to find joy in serving others rather than myself. Um, so that was something really cool that I think I learned while at Barnabas because it is so worth it, honestly. Like, I would be so exhausted from getting up at 6 in the morning every day to go do dishes and clear off people's dirty messes they made and clean up the toilets and everything like that's not an ideal way to spend a week of your summer but it really is just one week and it really is just seeing the smiles on all the campers and how much it means to them um it makes it so worth it um and you form like such great bonds with whoever your campers are I know that the actual CIAs are probably like so close with that one camper but um it's really neat to be able to be a barnstormer where you get to form relationships with so many different campers um and I really miss them honestly like 
they all are so different, which is I think is really cool. Um, none of them are trying to be like someone else. They all are so happy just being themselves, and they all are so different from each other. So it's really, um, it's just really cool to see all the different personalities and everything. Um, and I think another really cool thing God taught me this week was just um, how to look at the campers that are there because they have special needs and to see them for their abilities rather than their disabilities. Because going into it, you would look at them and be like, oh, that camper has um, Down syndrome or that camper has whatever, and you would be like, oh, they can't do blah, 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 blah. And then by the end of the week, I noticed myself being like, wow, you know, this camper with Down syndrome can do, like, this whole list of things. And so I, I started just noticing in myself and in other people that you look at the campers differently and you see them for what they can do rather than what they can't do. And so that was just a cool kind of, like, heart change in me. Um, and it's also, it's really neat to just spend a week being selfless because we spend so much time on ourselves um, about, like, just stupid stuff and worrying about, you know, like, if our hair looks good or something. Um, and these campers, really, a lot of them don't come from maybe the best home life. They'll have, like, parents that just don't make them feel loved or they just don't feel like they fit in at their school because they're different from everybody else. Um, and they just don't have really that amazing of a life at home. And so camp is when they can come and just kind of get away from all that and feel normal and feel loved. Um, and so it's really awesome to be able to just love on them and make them feel normal being around everyone else that has the same um, maybe disabilities as them or shares the same interests as them um, and just be with a group of people that are their leaders for a week that really do love them and care about them. Um, and there was a little boy that told me um, at home he never feels like he fits in, but that at camp um, he really feels like everyone loves him and so he loves coming back because that's when he gets to see all his best friends and that's when he feels like everyone loves him. And I really just was thinking about that. I was like, you know, that's probably true for most of these campers that they just feel misunderstood at home. Because even if, um, you know, people are loving on them, they still don't feel like they're the same as everyone else because of whatever their disability might be. So it's really cool to just have them in an environment where they're all the same and um, just to share the love of Jesus with them through serving them. So I thought that was like such a cool week for me just to be able to spend a week with all of them. Um, and I just, I want to, I made this video just kind of to encourage you guys, if that's something you'd be interested in, just to look into stuff like that, like camps like this, or just stuff around you. Um, catering to people with disabilities. I know that we have a program at my church also um, that you can get plugged in with, but it's just really really, really neat to be able to like hands-on hang out with them so much and spend so much time with um, people that don't have everything. They don't have a brain that works perfectly. They might not have a body that functions properly, but they are still so joyful and they're praising God through all of that. Um, it's really, really awesome and it makes you really thankful um, for what you have. And also, just I formed so many awesome friendships there. I did not want to leave, seriously. <laughs> um, but it was just really great, um, and I think God taught me a lot about myself and about Him um, throughout the week. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. If y'all have any questions, seriously leave them in the comments or inbox me or anything like that. I have like so many awesome stories about cute kids and um, leaders and stuff that have just made an impact in my life. If y'all want to hear those, um, or if you have any questions about the camp or anything like that, um, definitely just let me know and I will tell you everything that I know. Um, and so I'm just going to put in some pictures of kind of my favorite, um, I don't know, some of my favorite campers, some of my favorite moments, just some pictures from the week so you guys can kind of see um, what the camp is like. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was interesting. Um, I'm thinking if you clicked on it, you were interested in what I had to say about the camp, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say, and I have um, my eyes like red. I don't know why, so I'm sorry if you're like, um, she looks kind of creepy. Um, I just woke up and it was like really red. So um, 
yeah, that's what's going on over there. Um, but I hope everyone's having a great summer. I'm going to try and put up a lot more videos um, when I'm a little bit less busy. I've just been out of town the past, like, three weeks, so I haven't really had a chance to. But I am going to try to more often, so I'll see y'all later. Bye! Cause when I feel